Over the years, as I've been helping you set up your own Rust server, one of the questions that I continuously get day after day is how do I get more players into my server? And my answer has always been the same. You have to build your community around your Rust server. That means your website, your Steam group, as well as your Discord. And today I'm going to be showing you one of the tools that I use and I suggest that you start using in your community to start building that engagement, that loyalty to your brand. Hey everybody, welcome back to Rust Admin Academy where I'm teaching you everything that you need to know about owning and operating a successful Rust server. On this channel, I do plugin reviews, tutorials, plus I want to give you all of the little tips and tricks that are going to help you be more successful. Of course, if you take any value out of today's video, do me a favor and hit that like button for me. It helps to show YouTube that people are liking this video and of course then pushes it out to more people. One very important way to attract and of course maintain people coming to your community and wanting to stay there is giving them something to do. By providing members of your community a leaderboard that keeps track of everything they do in your server is one really great way of doing that. So today I'd like to introduce you to Rank Eval. Rank Eval is a comprehensive leaderboard management platform designed specifically for Rust. They harness the power of data-driven metrics, customized leaderboards, and seamless integration into your Rust gaming community. That means your website, your Discord, as well as your Rust game server. And one of the most important tools that's built right into Rank Eval is their algorithm-based ranking system. And I've spent a lot of time directly communicating with the actual developers of Rank Eval, so I know exactly how much time they've spent developing this algorithm. They have multi-platform integration, so you can have this on your Discord, you can have this on your custom website, or you can use Rank Eval's website. You don't have to use all of these features, but you can, and you can mix and match whatever works better for your community. It's also fully customizable, so you can change the colors of your leaderboard so that it fully matches the brand of your community. They've also got an incredibly robust server management system, which you are going to see on today's video because I'm going to be setting up a leaderboard so that you can see the exact process. So when you first land at the Rank Eval website, you're not going to have this client area right here. I have that because I've already logged in and of course I already have accounts with Rank Eval. The first thing that you're going to want to do is head into the store and decide which package is going to work best for your community. For $3.50, you're going to get everything that you see on the screen right here, but I want to bring your attention to the $4 per month package. That allows for all of the features of the regular package, but it also adds lifetime stats tracking as well as player challenges. And of course, me being who I am, I've discussed it over with the developers of Rank Eval, and they've agreed to give a promo code for the viewers of this video. Make sure to check in the video description down below or the pinned comment. If you're just on this website to check out how everything looks, you can go in and have a look at other servers leaderboards to get an idea of what they all look like. The next step, of course, is going to be the account linking. So let's go in there and two very simple processes. One, you're going to log in with your Steam 64 ID, click on this button right here, and then you're also going to link your Discord by clicking on this button right here. Once both of those have been linked up, your link status on the right hand side here will change to complete. If you'd like to join the Rank Eval Discord, which I highly suggest you do, click on this button right here. It's going to take you directly to that invite link. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns, or if you need support of any kind, the group in there is really great to deal with. Once you've logged in and selected whichever package you want to use for your community, of course, you're going to head into the client area, which is where you're going to do the rest of your setup process. It's going to ask you which package you want to manage today. You, of course, can have multiple different packages here for multiple different communities. And then, of course, the first place I want you to go is into organize organization management. If we click on modify organization details, this is where we're going to tell Rank Eval where we want our leaderboards to go. So which Discord, obviously this is really simple stuff. You want to put in your Discord server ID and organization name. You can change the avatar. This is the avatar that will appear on the rotating carousel on the front page of the Rank Eval website. Package token, you don't want to change anything there. This is automatically generated by the system itself. And then of course we can put in a descriptor for our organization. Click on submit and that's all done. Obviously the owner information right here is the person that set up the account and selected the package. We of course can add managers. So if we have admins or moderators that are going to need to have access to this dashboard, we can add them here. So let's go into server management. Now, when you first log into your dashboard, you won't have any server information here. You would click on this button right here that says add server and you'll get a page that looks just like this. This is where we get to tell Rank Eval where our Rust server is and how to communicate with it. So we can just put in a server name. We can put in a tag if we want to. And then this information is really important. So we're going to put in server IP as well as the port number. The server seed, team limit and max players will automatically generate as soon as we put the plugin onto the server. This is also where we get to decide what types of leaderboards we want to have 
available for our community. So all of these toggles down here, you can turn them on and off depending on what type of leaderboards you would like to have. Now this challenges toggle right here is obviously only going to be available on the premium package. But if you want to enable challenges for your server, of course, you'd want to make sure that that's toggled on and make sure that you have a package that supports it. Next, we can go into plugin configuration. Let's go into modify settings. And this is how the plugin is going to function in the server. So whenever the plugin is reporting something, we can decide the name of the plugin that's used, the avatar that's used with that name, and of course, the colors that are associated with how that plugin is displaying its information. If you scroll down just a little bit, this is where you get to determine how the tags are going to look after a player takes over one of these challenges. So for example, PVP kills, once a player in the server has the most number of kills, they will automatically be assigned the role Slayer. How do we want that Slayer to appear next to their name? We can change those colors as well as the titles that are displayed by clicking on modify settings at the very bottom here. It's going to bring up all of the different challenges that can be won, the names that are going to be associated and the colors that are going to be used. This of course is all within the Rust server. Next thing we're going to go into Discord bot configuration. And this is obviously how the Discord bot is going to appear in your Discord server. So similar in concept to what we just modified on the game side, we can now configure for the Discord side. So by clicking on modify settings, we can change the two colors that are associated with the Discord bot in our Discord server. The next thing you're going to see here is add static leaderboard. But before we get into all of that, let's actually get the plugin, install it in our server and invite the Discord bot to our Discord server. So we're going to go down here in the resources section, and we're going to click on game plugin. So by clicking on this button right here, it's obviously going to download a custom built plugin specifically for your server. So we can simply drag and drop that file from our downloads folder on our local machine into our server file management system. And in my case, I don't have plugin watchers turned on, so I just need to reload the plugin. And then it's going to check with everything as far as your account, the website, all that other stuff, make sure that everything is legitimately working. It's going to check your IP address, make sure that it's valid, authenticating with the Rank Evol website. It's basically just validating that everything is legit for your server. The next thing we're going to do is invite the Discord bot into our Discord server. Click on Discord bot on the left hand side there. Click on this button right here to get your invite link. Select which server you want it to go to. And in your Discord, as long as you can see that the bot has entered your server, you're good to go. And now we get into the fun stuff. This is where we get to actually set up the leaderboards that are going to appear in our Discord. So as you can see here in my test Discord, I've set up three different channels for three different leaderboards. So we've got top 10, top 10 team, and then lifetime top 10. So while we're here, let's just grab this channel ID for the top 10 and let's head back over to the Rank Evolve website and let's set up a static leaderboard. So we're going to enter the channel ID for the channel that we want it to report to, which server do we want to actually report the statistics from, and then select which type of leaderboard we want displayed. And in this case, we want the top 10. Click on submit, static leaderboard created, good to go. Let's create another one. So this one, we're going to do a top 10 team. Let's copy this channel ID and go through the same process again, put in the channel ID that we want to report to, and then select which type of leaderboard we want. We want top 10 team and then click on submit. And now we have another one. And now that we have all three of those leaderboards set up, let's go to our discord and have a look at what's been generated. So as you can tell here, I'm just using this on a test system. I do have a live version that I can show you some results from, but because this is reporting from a test rust server into a test discord, there's not not a whole lot of information to show. But from this embed, of course, we can see who our top player is. We click on next and then we can see a whole bunch of information about that player. If I had more players on this server other than just myself, because it's a testing server, there would obviously be more players names on this list. The top 10 team leaderboard, same information, but it's going to be team information instead. And then if you got the premium version, you would, of course, be able to track lifetime stats. So our lifetime stats are, of course, going to show in this lifetime leaderboard that we've created in this channel. The players in your Rust server and obviously in your Discord community will also have access to commands that they can run themselves. So if I say wanted to check my own personal stats, if I'm not in the number one position, I can do slash rank, pick which server I want to get reports from, and then put in my Steam64 ID, and the bot is going to spit out a whole bunch of information about that profile. Having a look at my live server, we can have a look at a leaderboard that is fully functioning with actual information. So as you can see here, we've got our top players, one, two, and three, their names, and the metrics that are measured in order to determine their position on the leaderboard. The reason I'm putting this out is because you are in control of how much weight is put on each metric in order to determine their rank on the leaderboard. So if we go back into our server management on the Rank Evol website, we can go into edit preset. And this is where we get to determine 
determine by moving these sliders back and forth, we can determine how much weight is put on each metric to determine what rank a player is going to have on our leaderboard. And they've got some preset templates here that you can just use real quick and then fine tune to your desire. So if you have a PVE server, obviously you don't really care about PVP stats. So click on PVE and the system will automatically ignore any PVP stats because you don't need them. If you want to increase the weighting for PVE interactions, you of course can move this slider up all the way up to two, which doubles the weight of PVE interactions on your Rust server, which in this specific case would be like scientists or animals or whatever. Those are all PVE interactions. So you can play around with that and figure out what's going to work best for your community. It is also important that I point this out. Editing or pressing submit will also wipe the data for all leaderboards. So obviously if you've changed how the weighting works for your community, as soon as you click on submit, obviously it makes sense that it wipes that leaderboard clean. So if you're going in there and making changes and wondering why your leaderboard keeps resetting back to zero stats, that's why. So obviously you're gonna to wanna to make sure that your community knows how to use the Discord commands as well as feels comfortable using them. Next, we're actually gonna go in game and see what the leaderboard looks like inside the game. All right, once we're in game, we actually have to grant it permission in order to use the commands related to rank eval. So if you want all of the players on your server, you would want to be modifying the default group and you wanna grant this permission right here called rank eval.use. Once that's granted, we can go in chat and we can type slash rank. And then of course the plugin is gonna spit out a bunch of statistics about the player that used that command. And back when I was talking about the plugin configuration on the Rank Evolve dashboard, you can now see what I was talking about as far as changing the colors and changing the dividers, etc., etc. It's essentially controlling how this is going to look when players use that command. We could also do slash top. This will display the top five players from our server. If I were on a team, which I'm not right now, but if I were, I could do slash team rank. That would show where our team is ranked. But because I'm not part of a team, I can do slash team top, and that's going to show information about the top teams on the server. If you purchase the premium package for your server, you of course would have access to the lifetime stats of players and teams. So we can do slash LT rank, and that'll give the lifetime statistics of either the player or the team, whichever command you want to use. If you don't want your players to have to go to your Discord or in server to actually check their statistics, of course they can go to the leaderboards on the Rank Eval website, and they can check out player leaderboards, team leaderboards, lifetime, and then challenges. If you've never been here before, it's going to show all of the servers that Rank Evolve serves. So to have a look at the server that we were just playing on a minute ago, we can look at this server right here. And this is going to show that same information, but in a website form instead. And for the advanced users out there that do have their own website, especially if you're using Astanox's template, which I have done a video on in the past, they have step-by-step -step instructions so you can very easily integrate your leaderboard into your Astanox website. If you're even more advanced and actually have a custom built website, you can use the custom API section of the website in order to extract that information and display it on your own website. Very customizable, very user friendly, no matter what your skill level is. And the service can be transformed depending on what your community requires of you. A ton of functionality, very user friendly to use. Every section in here has a drop down menu that has bullet points or questions that might need to be answered. You can very easily cruise through the setup process without running into any issues. And if you do run into something, usually the answer is displayed in one of these sections right here that is available on each individual tab. And of course, if you don't get the answers directly on the website, you're more than welcome to join their discord and ask for support there. I do feel like there's a ton more information I could be telling you about Rank Eval, but just in the interest of keeping this video relatively close to what I normally keep my videos at, I might have to save that for another venue. But get in, play around, check it out. If you're thinking that this is something for your community, click on this request a free trial button right here. Talk directly to the head honchos at Rank Eval and get something worked out for your community. If you're looking for a different type of statistics for your server, such as all of the backend information that determines how well your server is actually operating, check out this video on the left hand side of your screen right now. Learn a whole bunch of stuff about Grafana and learn how it's going to help you monitor your server's performance. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, click on that bottom in the left hand corner. And if you want to help support what I'm doing at Rust Admin Academy, you can click on the Patreon button down below. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you next week.